If this is TGIF, then you wish must be next. Tom Cruise, John Travolta, 2,097 stars on this walk of fame, but no mention of the greatest comedic genius of the century, Felix the Cat. That wonderful, wonderful cat. Lassie, they gave him a star? He read his lines off Timmy's shoes. Very unprofessional. <laughs> Poor Felix, 60 years in showbiz and zero recognition. Well, that all changes now. So I was just standing next to my locker and he walks up to me and says, You want to go out? Are you dying? Uh, gotta go. Travis! It's M.M. It's, uh... Nobody, Mom. No, that would be N.M. M.M., however, is staring you right in the face. Magic man. It's me. You have a crush on me. I'm so flattered. How will I let it down gently without destroying a fragile psyche? It's not you. What? It's Mitch Morrison, isn't it? Because I really wanted it to be me. Mitch Morrison? He's 16, and he drives a motorcycle. And he also got kicked out of school. I can see a vein in your head. <laughs> it's really not as bad as it sounds. He's 16, drives a motorcycle, and got kicked out of school. Now make it sound good. <laughs> Mom? I'm not saying no. I just want to meet him. He's bad news, Mom. My guess is he killed somebody. I think he did the right thing. Thanks, Travis. I'm going to go see if she's okay. Good for you, Travis. You're sticking up for your mom and you're watching out for your sister. Just for that, I'm going to grant you a wish. I thought you weren't allowed to grant wishes for me. Well, I'm not supposed to, but I'm feeling crazy. You did a nice thing and I'm going to pay you off because material reward for human kindness is the message of today. Choose wisely. Now, you can have anything that you want in the world, anything at all. I need you to choose wisely. An ice cream cone. Good boy! <laughs> I would have chosen North America, but you're you, and I like you. <laughs> wow! Let's keep this between ourselves, shall we? Hey, cool ice cream cone, where'd you get it? Jeannie snapped it up for me. He <laughs> didn't catch it. <laughs> you're not supposed to be doing that. It's an ice cream cone. He's not your master. The big, big book of, uh, of Genie says you're not all, all supposed to be doing that. Why not? We could have, that's the rules. I don't play by the rules. Oh, you got to play by the rules. <laughs> Why? Because that's uh, the rules. There are rules about rules, you know. I ain't going to win this, am I? No. <laughs> hey. I'm here to get Felix a star on the Walk of Fame. Felix who? The cat. The wonderful, wonderful cat. You talk? To you, yeah. Because you guys are genies. How'd you know? Because anybody else that heard me talk would go, ah! <laughs> Look, I need a thousand signatures, and Felix gets his star. I like Felix. And that clock that used to go. <laughs> I had a clock like that back in the 1950s. Boy, those were simpler times, and I miss them. Hey, everybody, it's time for that I Love Lucy show. <laughs> Make sure we get a good picture. I hope this is the one where she stomped on the grapes. <laughs> well, you can get a better picture than that. <laughs> Perfect. I don't know how people got along before modern technology. You got some splendid to do, Salem. We're in the 1950s. Wow. Heyday. Payday after taxes. Sweet caramel, salty peanuts. It's payday. Only 
Disney. Only in theaters. Only for 17 days. The Little Mermaid. I love you, Daddy. Special holiday engagement starts November 14th. Disney's The Little Mermaid. Rated G. I could never make decisions. And now I'm in a bind of snack of fries, shakes, or pies. I can't make up my mind. Bad news, love. They're splitting us up for this mission. How tragic. No worries, huh? Got you the new Subaru Forester. A sport utility. Not just any sport utility. Observe. A lower rear end that's easy to load. Easy to get into as well. All with a smooth car-like ride. Of course, I know it'll be rough without me around. Or... But I'm sure you'll get used to it. The new Subaru Forester. Sport utility tough, car easy. Okay, it's time. Time to give you credit for knowing a good thing when you see it. Just use your Sears card at the Sears card sale and get 10% off everything in the store, even sale prices. So use the card and take credit for being one savvy shopper. This Sunday, get touched by a real angel. Hello. The wonderful world of Disney presents a football team that didn't have a prayer. Can we get some help over here? And the angels who are about to turn them into champions. Yeah. Christopher Lloyd, Angels in the End Zone, ABC Sunday at 7, 6 Central. Hey. Hi, Rich. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Did I hear a doorbell? Oh, don't tell me. You must be Mitch. Mickey's told us all about your age, motorbike, and school problems. But her cycle, Mom. So we should be going. <laughs> Well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do I know you? It's my dopey kid brother, Nora. You don't remember me, huh? Maybe this year will ring some bells. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's Wedgie Boy from the schoolyard. Hey, hey, break it up, cat. The fight ain't cool, dig? I'm telling you, it's this hostility, the struggle, the conflict that's gonna burn this world down. <laughs> Why don't you just hop on your little scooter and crawl under whatever rock it is you call home? It's a Harley, man. Nobody puts down my bike. Hey, the hand with the shirt. All right. You made your point, man. But I feel that pain. Mickey, take your date and have a nice time. Date? You're dating this loser? He's my honey bear. He sends me. I'll send him. Hey, hey, I'll have none of that language in my home. <laughs> Go have fun, you two. And Mickey, remember, I trust you. Don't let me down. Mom, you gotta stop her. I know this guy. He's in the fast lane to nowhere. Apparently, he's misunderstood. <laughs> Well, better go change my frock and put on my evening pearls. <laughs> hey, Travis, don't sweat it. I'm gonna take care of it. You better, Jeannie. Or I will. <laughs> what will I do? What will I do? You'll do nothing. Hey, Pop. The little gal's in danger, and Travis up there is cruising for a bruise. Now, you listen, <laughs> listen to me, you crazy next stop kid. Forget. Forget about your feelings. You can't do a gosh darn thing without your master wishing you to do so. Oh, you are rattling my cage, man. You are bringing me down. Oh, you, you punk kids with your bebop music and your freewheeling ways. Do you know why your ways are free to be wheeling free? Because of me and other G.I. genies just like me. Oh, no, not right. another war That's story. That's right, WW2, right. the second biggest war, the second war to end all wars. I was in the special genie G.I. forces in the, in the trenches of southern Italy. I, I had to drink their wine and eat their spaghetti every single day. I, I sat in the trenches at the, where am I going with this? R-U-L-E-S, brother. That's it. Rules, rules. You can't be a genie unless you follow the genie rules. Yeah, I got you, old man. You're coming in loud and loud. Where do you think you are going? Out. Out where? Out of the business. Listen to me, man. 
If I can't be a genie the way I want to be, the way I got to be, then I'm going to make like a tree and leaf. Ah, <laughs> you crazy kids and your mixed up sayings. How do you ever expect to turn a buck? Well, I, I, I give up the magic business and I, I'd make music. Cool. Jazz music. I'm gonna let the music of my soul ascend to the heavens. You walk out that door and you break the golden genie rule of not walking out that door. <laughs> well, I never. <laughs> Spaghetti every single day for that. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? I'm going to the malt shop, Ma. Now, Travis, I know that your only concern that your sister is out with the wrong kind of boy. I've seen him pitching pennies in the boys' room, Ma. It isn't about him, Travis. We have to trust that your sister will make the right decision. Oh, there's my pot roast. Excuse me. And I have to make the right decision, too. Hey, pal. Give me the phone. <laughs> Give me the phone. <laughs> now, dial O. <laughs> now, give me a fish. <laughs> Operator, get me Sabrina Spellman. Long, 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 long distance. You know you compromise on what they wear, and what they watch, and what they listen to. But don't compromise on what they eat. Hamburger Helper, come on. In just 20 minutes, you can make new Creator Meal for ground beef. It tastes better, and it's got the goodness of green giant vegetables with hearty, delicious sauces. This is not a compromise. Oh, you know a compromise when you see one. Try new Creator Meal for ground beef from Green Giant. You'll love what we're bringing to dinner. Double your pressure, double your fun. That's the statement of a great man. What did you do this weekend, Tommy? I have been to the Edge and back. Excuse me? Introducing the Edge Pizza from Pizza Hut. Pizza? It's about Tommy. Crust is your, it's your safety. safety. The Edge has no other crust. The Edge is Tommy's right to the Edge. Tommy's right to the Edge. It's the Edge. My family, let's go. go. I've just left my friend, brother, sister. I have been to the Edge and back. Join me. 16 pieces of pure toppings. Have you been to the Edge? Tuesday, it's two of the most compelling home improvement episodes, starting at 8, 7 central, when Jill must face the loss of her father. Oh, my God. And no one thought it could ever happen. I feel like we're drifting apart. There's trouble at home. It's just been a long time since I've uh, been attracted to somebody. And you won't believe what happens next. Tom Wopat guest stars on the most shocking episode of the season, an unforgettable night with home improvement, Soul Man, and a special Dharma and Greg, ABC Tuesday. If you stick around, we promise to show you the rest of the show. On ABC. Maybe. And now it's time for Let's Learn Something. Let's Learn Something, brought to you by TGIF. This is the Arctic. It's a very cold place. If you're going there, you should probably wear a jacket. See, you can learn something on TV. Stay tuned for more, you wish. On TGIF. Cool. Sunday, after the Everest movie on ABC. Very few people climb Mount Rainier this time of year. He stood on the summit of Everest, Denali, and on the summit of our mountain more times than any person alive. Most people in Seattle just have no idea what it's like up there. Now, he takes Como News 4's Eric Slocum and you on an ascent into a whiteout to see what it's like, how the thrill can kill. 
Sunday on Como News 4 at 11. Carpet Exchange leads the way with more selection and our lowest prices of the year. Save on DuPont Stain Master Master Life, the premier performance carpet. Carpet Exchange, our lowest prices of the year. Did somebody say McDonald's? Coke and fries sound good to me. But before I could reply, the kids handed me my key. Did somebody say McDonald's? Did somebody say McDonald's? Well, now's the perfect time to go. Because you can get two tasty cheeseburgers for just 99 cents. Two for just 99 cents at McDonald's. What are you waiting for? Town meeting Sunday. They could be a teacher, a doctor, even Santa Claus. Sex offenders unnoticed may be living near you. See the new list, zip code by zip code, where they live. Town meeting Sunday at 6. We'll get you all set with the weekend forecast tonight at 11. It's out there, I tell you. My place in this world, I want to be part of the beat. Just me and my Harley rolling down Route 66. Living in the present, with the past just a moment behind me. You were so deep. <laughs> Kiss me. I knew I'd find you two up here at Make Out Point. Making out? You're lying. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do I know you? I'm Travis. Boy. Hey, what you doing all the way up here, little fella? Defending my sister's honor, that's what. You're ruining the mood. Good. Hop in the basket. I'm taking you home. Oh, you got a basket on your bike? Well, maybe I got a paper route. What's it to you? Yeah, well, it looks like a girl's bike. All right, now you've gone too far. <laughs> oh, no, please. Don't fight over me. Did you want to rumble? You gotta rumble, little man. Meet me at the train track at midnight. And that's past my bedtime. <laughs> right here, right now, then. You and me in a chicken race. First one to ditch his wheels loses. And let this bike fall over the cliff? Are you cracked? I sold 500 copies of Grit for this bike. <laughs> a drag race, then. First one to dead man's drop wins. Ready? Go! <laughs> on your bike, Travis? I can't believe he's my brother. Now, Grandpa, you promised to be nice. Yeah, right, right, yeah. <laughs> Paul, one mice is mouse. Two mice is Mises. Dynamite blows my doggy to pieces. Nice. <laughs> Dig. I don't get it. Why'd the doggy have to die? Ah. Faces from other places. Check it, folks. This next poem's going out to my Grandpa Max. It's called You Drove Me to This, Grandpa Max. I wonder what this one's gonna be about. You drove me to this, Grandpa Max. Made my life a drag, man. Tangled up in rules. But the times they are are changing, and I'm like a rolling stone. So if you want somebody to follow your rules, it ain't me, babe. <laughs> All right, now I see you, Zimmerman. Put the pen down. Me name myself after a famous poet. I'm by Elizabeth Barry Brown. <laughs> All right, enough of these monkey shines. <laughs> Grandson, it's time to put down that horn and pick up your responsibility. Ooh. Hey, man, your words are harsh. Why don't you make like the wind and blow? <laughs> uh, you punk kids and your whacked out sayings. <laughs> now, come on, you beatniks. Hear him out. <laughs> I was young once, and I understand your need to to rebel and express yourself like the rest of these lost and searching, poetic, jobless, lefty, pinko scum. <laughs> now cut that out. Hey, man, I'm one of them. Nothing you say is going to change my mind. 
grandson, your family is in trouble. What? Trouble? Oh, Piff. <laughs> Mickey's out with a rebellious teenage boy that Travis wants to beat up with a chain. But I trust my children to do the right thing. And so do I. Okay, Zimmerman. Now's your chance. Just a hunch. It's Travis. Oh, he's headed right for Dead Man's Drop. I'm going down there to stop this. No, you can't. The rules say your master has to wish for you to do that. Yeah, my master brought a picnic basket to a death race. I'm saving Travis. Here's what I think of your rules. It's okay in my book. Back at you. So, seeing as how one of us is riding to our death there, I was just wondering, why'd they kick you out of school? All right, well, since I can't shake you, kid, I'll level with you. I got kicked out because I wasn't legally living in the district. That's it? Yeah. I'll thank you not to tell your sister, however, as it would appreciably diminish my rebel standing, and I'd like to remain cool in her eyes. You really like my sister? Yeah, she's a nice girl. Birth to Earth! Womb to tomb. I did it. A thousand signatures. All I got to do is turn the petition in, and Felix will have his long-deserved star. <laughs> Look at that view. Love the 50s. Less crowd, less smog, more drag races. More drag races? Yes! Ah! is one cool cat. What happened? I'll tell you what happened. He broke the genie rules for the last time. What are you saying? I'm saying that I don't, I don't get your poetry and I don't understand your, your, your long hair and your improvisational saxophonic ramblings, but <laughs> you're a good genie. And so I... I guess you write your own rules. It's your world now. So, make like a milk and shake. <laughs> you punk kids with your whacked out sayings. Excuse me. 
I'm Sabrina. I'm a witch. I'm looking for a black cat named Salem. He called and said he was here. You're genies, aren't you? How would you know that? Because if you weren't and I said I was a witch, you would have gone, ah! Stop that. Mom, I found out why Mitch got kicked out of school. And he's not such a bad guy after all. You mean because he doesn't live in the district? You knew? Well, honey, I am president of the PTA, and I've already redrawn the district boundary, so first thing Monday morning, Mitch is back in school. Yeah! Gee, that's swell. But, uh, you probably won't want to go out with me anymore since I'm not a rebel or nothing. Mitch, the whole reason I wanted to go out with you is because cause you're a nice guy. Of course, the motorcycle doesn't hurt. Hey, where is my bike? Well, I'm glad everyone's okay. Now I'll just get Salem and we can make like a rug and roll. <laughs> Come on, it was my first try. <laughs> well, I can get Salem and we can get you guys back to the 90s. Salem! Salem! Oh, no, I lost him again. <laughs> Laser Games is here. Laser Tag with incredible 100 foot firing range. Engage Force Shield or power up for the ultimate laser blast. The future is here. Laser Tag, you're it. Battery's not included. Train to be a rebel soldier with Star Wars Laser Tag. Cadets ready. Power up. Fire single or continuous burst over 50 feet. Train by yourself or with a rebel assault team. Use the Force in Laser Tag. Star Wars Laser Tag. Battery's not included. I don't know. I just feel like something's missing. Now, all fine jewelry is 40 to 50% off at Sears. And during the 72-hour jewelry sale, we'll take an extra 10% off. There's definitely a void. Right about here. Shuffling papers all day long requires concentration. Someone hold my calls. I'm on a Big Mac vacation. It's a still happens, even to Martha Quinn. But I don't let it get to me. Ah, breakouts. Huh? What does a girl have to do to get clear skin? You wash a jillion times a day with harsh scrubs and cleansers that can irritate your pores, even bring on more breakouts. <sighs> Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash breaks the breakout cycle, cleans deep down to help clear up the acne you've got now. But unlike the harsh stuff, ah, it's gentle, won't irritate, won't bring on more breakouts. Yes, so let's rock. These days, most kids' juice drinks aren't very juicy. Created from sweeteners, artificial colors, and a virtual smorgasbord of scientific ingredients, these concoctions hardly have room for any juice at all. Introducing new Tropicana Bursters, three flavors of 100% delicious juice. Our only technology is the bottle. Tropicana Bursters, 100% juice, perfect for kids. Hit the beach, baby. I hear the tuna are running in Santa Monica. My cat! My bike! Great. He ran off again. I don't suppose any of you have a broom? Or better yet, a vacuum? I have a bike? That'll work. I'll get it back to you. Spielberg. 